Yo, what's going on, sexy seven letter squad? How are you guys doing today? We're doing a ranked one v one, as always, and we're gonna be playing a little bit of Hun Bats today. Forest. None shall trespass my forest, and I do have a forest. <laughs> I might as well complete the thought. I thought it and I was talking about it. I might as well finish it. There's there, <laughs> there's no reason to back out, honestly. Like, you, you're already there. Just just say what you were meaning. You know what I mean? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Ultra hooliganism by me. But, um, how are you guys doing? Uh, I started that series with Anthony yesterday. Uh, episode 2 should be out by now, by the time you're seeing this video. And, um, yeah, it should be, like, I, I really enjoy playing with Anthony, so if you guys could go and watch that series, give it the support it needs to kind of thrive on the YouTube community, the likes, the comments, stuff like that. And also, don't forget to go hang out with Anthony on his channel as well. You can't just support one side. It is what it is, you know? Um, that being said... I want to thank you guys in advance for the support recently. It's been very nice. Um, it, the, the, the support is a little bit lower than what it has been before, but honestly, it's okay. Because here's the thing. When it comes to it... Um, oh, not trams. It's this. When it comes to it, it's just, uh, it's just like a YouTube algorithm type thing. And I... I see you guys, all the positive comments and all the likes and stuff on the videos. Hey, man. And, um, <clears throat> it's not, uh, it's not correlating to the amount of views I get. So when stuff like that happens and, and feedback is relatively positive for the most part, uh, it's just, it, it goes down to the YouTube algorithm. And I see you guys trying to help me out with the comments and the likes and stuff and trying to beat the algorithm. I really appreciate it. Trust me, I do. Um, but yeah. Right for the long way, I'm making my girlfriend lunch. Oh, no problem. You all good? I paused because I didn't know if he was still making her lunch. Because he, he doesn't have blue buff yet, and I did get red buff. Excuse the silent pause. I was drinking a cup of coffee, not a whole cup. Jeez Louise. Oh my God. Imagine. <laughs> Imagine just every like 10 seconds. Oh, take your time, man. Take your, take your man. <laughs> take, take your man. No, but uh, imagine if every time you went to go take a sip of coffee, you just drank a whole cup. I'd have like 800,000 milligrams of caffeine in my body. That's not true, actually. I have, how much caffeine do I drink on a daily basis? At most... I think at most I drink probably about 280 because a normal cup of coffee is about a hundred, right? Like it's about 70 to hundred, depending on how much you put in. Um, and then on occasion, I'll also grab a latte when Shiv is uh, out of work and we're just traversing the city. You know what I mean? So, um, and that is, I'm pretty sure that is about 180 milligrams of caffeine just because of the fact that one shot of espresso is 60 milligrams, I believe, and uh, a large latte. I, I do get it non-fat, so it's only like 160 calories or something. But um, a large latte has 180 milligrams of caffeine in it, so I would assume 280 is probably the most I have in a day. And also, even if I do have 280, it's not bad because I looked up how much caffeine you can have because I don't want to get, you know, weird with it. Um, and the most amount of caffeine, or not the most amount, but the average uh, healthy amount for an adult is about a maximum of 400 a day is acceptable as a limit. Um, obviously, if you drink caffeine a bunch more than you're going to be less sensitive to caffeine and therefore be able to drink more without feeling the effects. That being said, I don't know why I'm talking for four minutes about caffeine. Sorry, let's play the game. <laughs> um, we got first blood. Pretty simple, pretty simple stuff. He got his blue buff. I got my red buff, my blue buff, and the XP camp. 
and uh we set ourselves up for a lot of success right now i will say it is going to be difficult so kind of get any kind of uh real success out of this game so far uh because that, that first blood they they took away the first blood gold you or the first gold first blood bonus gold i don't know why i can't say that i should be able to win this fight actually uh maybe not the mannequin sits a bit harder than i thought and he's a little bit more tanky than i thought too because that mannequins do be helping that's gonna hit him i'm down oh actually worked actually worked um the archers are dead and we are good we made it out alive with a second blood and we're gonna go ahead and get that transcendence now we're gonna go ahead and start stacking that up so that we can get some more damage output out of that too i am maxing the two i do believe it's the highest output of damage you have it is lower in base damage than the three but higher in scaling so overall more damage um so i am going to be maxing that too like i said and now i just got to focus on getting the stacks that i need i have 10 seconds left on my ultimate i could potentially go for a kill he does have beads um, but he used them the first time I altered him, so they're, they should be down right now. I'm gonna see if I can burst down this red buff in time, and it looks like I can, so that's pretty good. Please, I want that stack of the minion, and I didn't get it, that's alright. Um, my ult is up, I'm gonna jump in, I'm gonna ult him. Oh, that was a very good stun by his part, but maybe not enough, and it was not enough. Gives us that third kill. Which is amazing for me. I'm going to go ahead and do this blue buff now because of the fact that, well, I mean, just straight up, I can. He's dead and he's not going to contest me. And even if he does contest me, I'm not that scared of uh, dying to him right now. Obviously, I'm full HP. I have a health pot ticking anyways because I popped it during the fight that we had. And we are going to be confirming all three buffs. Oh my god. We confirmed all three buffs this game. Please do not stun me very fragile i missed um what's my next item gonna be is it either gonna be defense or is it gonna be offense now this is a huge question especially against a chronos because a lot of times you are gonna want that defense rather than the offensive capability you know jump in and jump this and um he's being pretty consistent when it comes down to i have to run this way because his alt is bringing him over there i'm gonna probably throw the one Oh, nice three, nice three. Nice three. Um, I think I'm going to go more offensive here. I think I'm going to go for the uh, for the Jotuns here. And instead of kind of going for the route where, you know, I go Pestilence and then I try to out-sustain over the, the course of the fight, I'm going to go for a Burst kind of build, which is kind of bad to do against Kronos, but also... It is very fun to build as a, a burst hunt bats. So I think I'm just going to go for it. And if it doesn't work out, then we can always switch later because we are ahead. So we have a slight advantage in gold and stuff. So I can afford to play with my build slightly. Jump that, please. My alt wasn't up. I was spamming the button. I don't know if you heard me mashing it, but I was spamming my alt trying to alt, but it wasn't up yet. Unfortunately, I do have my beats up though. So I am looking good for this next fight. Um, I'm assuming he's coming over here. Nice. Very good. So I know... So basically what I thought about there in that fight, if you uh, if you missed that fight because you're tabbed out or something, make sure to go back and watch that fight because it was actually a good one. Um, what I did there, obviously I baited him over to me by threatening to farm up either this XP camp or just straight up do the bull demon. So... Obviously, he had to come over. He had to check uh, check out what was going on. And when he did, I caught him off guard, did a little bit of burst damage. But the main thing that really won me that fight was when I got stunned, I didn't panic and beads and run towards him to land the auto and get the kill. Instead, what I did was I relied on human reaction time. And basically what that means is I relied on the fact that he's not going to be able the beads fast enough to still be able to kill me while that stun is going off he like it just as a human you either have to pre-beads it because you know it's coming but when you when you get stunned and something like that happens where they like stun you back 
it's very hard to kind of try to jump that i missed my jump he hit a lot of damage on me there but it's okay i should be able to do this but i, I basically like i said just relied on human reaction time um and I CC'd him for a small amount of time, even though I knew he would beads. And that small amount of time was just enough time for me to uh, get out of the stun that he put on me and do some nice damage to him. So very good. I'm actually really proud of that. And we have 30% cooldown. Obviously, I can get Boomba's hammer, which is going to actually bump me up quite a bit. It's going to give me another 20%, isn't it, when it's maxed out? Yeah, so actually... Maybe I should have gone uh, Crusher instead of Jotun's here. But I do like the early cooldown. So I, I actually think the Crusher is good. And I can just sell that later for a Jotun's or for like an Arendite or like even just something just weird, you know, like it doesn't really matter. But I can sell it later and it'll still be good for me. No worries. He is going to be going to that wave because he can't afford to miss XP like that. And I'm just going to do this Bull Demon. I have alt and I have uh, beads, so if we do end up fighting, which actually probably will, um, then I have all of the required accessories to my advantage. Very nice. A good kill. Good kill. And that's going to give us the tower. Um, basically, I knew he didn't have beads up because he beads to win... I ulted him last time when I was explaining that fight. Uh, he beats then, so he didn't have beads up. He probably had another five or six seconds on them. It's not like they were on a long cooldown, but they were on a cooldown, so I took advantage of it and I fought him there. Uh, the only thing that was slightly scary about that fight was that I had to use my beads, and if I messed up my beads and he did get an ult off, then he could stun me again and definitely kill me, so it was a little bit risky to play like that, but I figured, you know what? What's more fun? Playing a little bit more risky or playing a little bit more fun. You know what I mean? It's just, it's not even really a competition when you think about it. I am going to go blink here because blink is super good with Hunbats and the alt. If you can blink in and alt and you still have your jump to get away. I mean, obviously that's what you do in Conquest, right? It's no different in Duel in this scenario. I know a lot of the things that I do in Conquest are super different from Duel, but in this scenario, it's not. It's, it's actually pretty similar. I think blinking in and... And alting is very strong. It was still having that getaway of uh, of your jump. Very nice. We got his alt. Uh, I don't think we got his beads. I could be wrong. I don't think we got his beads. He is going to probably want to stun me here. I juked the one by teleporting. And I do have a uh, red buff, so unlucky actually i really wanted to uh get the kill there but i guess i cannot it's not that big of a deal because I, you know at the end of the day we got his alt and um he doesn't have all the cooldown that we have like we have 30 percent, he has 20 percent, so we should be able to alt him uh when he doesn't have his alt up next time but he might have his beads up actually and that might be enough believe it or not Okay. He's running this way again. I might be able to actually get this kill. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. Huge. I knew. I knew he was going to stun. I was counting the seconds between his last stun. And the fact that he only has 20% cooldown. And I knew his stun just came up. And uh, that's the reason that he wasn't backing away and fighting. Or the, that's the reason he wasn't backing away and running. And instead he was fighting. Because I knew he had that stun up. And I knew he he wanted to catch me off guard with it. So what did I do? I hit him with my own little spice. A little added little added bonus to basically uh, basically the kill. With a little bit of a little bit of cinnamon on top, let's say. Or or you know what? We're in fall. How about a little bit of pumpkin spice on top? And I jumped his second stun and got the kill. Now I did go Soul Eater here. It is, it's, it's a little late for Soul Eater. But it's... I think it's still fine just because of the fact that I am so far ahead and Soul Eater stacks with um, your own minion deaths too. So it's actually one of the items that you can get even late and it'd still be good. Please get away from my bull demon. Oh my gosh. 
okay he tried to make he tried to make the hero play and the hero play is getting the bull demon and running away and uh being able to live and taking bull demon off of the map for your enemies so they can't get phoenix and honestly it's not a bad play but sometimes you got to cut your losses you know sometimes you just have to drop phoenix survive and not let him get even further ahead but he uh he went a little a little bit hardcore i would tp into that but it hit the the titan i was gonna say phoenix but it hit the titan so that's fine that's fine we can grab these things and i am just gonna auto these down actually because i get life steal from soul eater with my auto attacks right now and not for my abilities i believe until it's fully stacked no shot no shot Oh god. Oh my gosh. We actually got his beads and got the kill. That was really scary because he life stealed a lot more than I thought he would. He was also pumping out a lot more damage. He picked up the red buff there and um also finished his telekines. So his damage was a lot higher than I thought it would be. That was a lot more risky than it should have been. Honestly, I feel a little bit bad about taking the fight. Oh, but I'm I'm one wave away from getting Boomba's Hammer finished. But maybe I don't even want Boomba's Hammer yet because I will overcap my cooldown. But overcapping cooldown by 10% isn't the worst thing. Like, the passive from Boomba's Hammer is so much better than an, an accidental extra 10% cooldown. So I'm, I'm okay with this, actually. I'm just going to run. Might as well pick this up. No, I don't want that actually. I can get this one here. Once I once I come back, grab that, and uh, I'm actually just gonna go beat stick here because that life steal that was that, the life steal that he got from hitting me in that last fight near the red buff actually made a huge difference. I didn't think that it would make that much of a difference, but he definitely proved me wrong. All right, so I'm overcapping cooldown by 20% on accident. Not really on accident. It's because I have Jotuns, right? Like, if I sold Jotuns and I got, like, um, Titan's Bane and Beat Stick, this would be a really good build. Like, I'd have so much power, so much base pen. Hello, you scared me. Oh, nice. That was, I mean, that was, honestly, plain and simple. One of the easiest kills I've gotten because the fact that he did try to gank me but i had literally everything up and he didn't have anything up because if you remember that fight near the red buff he actually beats to try to live but ended up dying to the damage of the ult rather than um than anything else so gg gamer um so he didn't have beads when he tried to gank me and and i did have beads so he stuns i beads i alt he has no cc immunity so he dies to the alt basically and that's that i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to like comment and subscribe and until next time guys peace oh i mean i'm a grandmaster nice i love you oh wrong button sorry <laughs> bye i love you <laughs>